Great. Here we are. Okay, guys. Happy new moon in Virgo. Yay. <laughs> and here we are to breathe. So I thought um, it would be appropriate to bring forward a lunar practice today. And um, there are some traditions, uh, yogic traditions, that will like not practice asan on on the new moon because it's the day, the dark side of the moon, right? So it's the day to go inside, day to be still and with ourselves. So this is perfect. Thank you, heavenly realm, <laughs> for giving us so many gifts. So Virgo, um, Virgo is the like utilitarian aspect. It's like the the systems, putting the systems in place and it's earth energy. So playing with that earth energy while all these planets are in retrogrades, things are moving backwards. So it's our time to just slow down a little bit. Okay. And that's what we're going to do today. So um, you options, you can sit through the whole practice if you'd like, you can, or you can sit for the first part and then I'll cue you when you can lay down at the end. Um, but it's up to you, of course, if you're sitting up and straight and it is maybe like, you know, some kind of more transcendental kind of thing that you're looking for, that might be better. If you're looking for more relaxation, then you might want to make a space for you to be able to lie down in a little bit. So you can put incense on, anything like that, that makes you feel nice. And then get seated and uh, sit up nice and straight. The spine is that column up to the divine. So making sure that your shoulders are stacked over the hips. Nice straight spine. And then just start to breathe. Changing your attention to what's happening in your lungs is the oxygen and the CO2 exchange. However you want to do that. So you can, we've used two techniques so far. We've inhaled from the root all the way up to the divine and then back down. We've inhaled light into the third eye and exhaled the root. So using these little visualizations just to help you to bring consciousness to the breath and to just kind of block out the external world, all the distractions that are come in and the thoughts that want to weave. And we're just using the breath to still the mind. Just on those inhales, feeling how big and how proud the chest becomes. And on the exhales, feeling how empty you become. And seeing if you can go a little bit bigger on the inhales and the exhales. And even maybe adding a little hold at the top and a little hold at the bottom. Just playing with the breath. Pranayama is learning to regulate and to gain mastery over your breath. Okay, so the more you can experiment with it, the more you're going to get curious, the better it's going to go. So stay with that. Stay with your breath in whichever way feels good for you to visualize. You're harmonizing, harmonizing. I'm just going to speak to the moon a little bit. So on this Virgo new moon, like I said, it's like this earth energy, this, even this like earth priestess energy where we're bringing in that magic when we're thinking about what we want to manifest into our lives. But Virgo helps us to actualize those things. So not just this pseudo sort of pie in the sky, woo woo, um, air feel, but really this grounded systematic way of pulling our dreams into this reality to really embody the dreams that you have in who you want to be, in what you want to create, and in what you want to put out into the world. So we ask Virgo, Whoa. show us the way. This is also the sign of health. And as you sit here and do this good work for your health, for your body health, for your mind health, for your spirit health, know that you can anchor that in in this practice and in this cosmic time. And when we pray for our health, we only pray for health. We never pray from a space of fear of sickness. We pray for perfect health. Breathe that in now. And so to begin our practice today, and to anchor in any of the ideas that you have to give vibration to gratitude, to give vibration to your dreams, your manifestations, your pure health. 
we are going to start with rolling ohms. And so what this is gonna look like is every, I'm gonna start us ohming and we're each gonna do seven ohms and they're gonna roll. They're just gonna keep going. I'll tell you when we're um, at the last one. And I just want you to really imagine tying all of your hopes and dreams onto these sounds and then sending them out and giving them life, giving them form. So hold maybe an intention in your mind this morning or a thought or some love. And take a big inhale and a full exhale. Fill up to chant. Oh, just keep going. Oh, oh, One. Oh. Release the breath, sit in the vibration. Let it get to every cell of your being, bringing health, bringing wellness, bringing love. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes and join me back in the room. Mm -hmm. So OM is the sound of all of the universe moving and vibrating together. So the acknowledgement that we're a part of that and that we're honoring all of that. So beautiful to me. Never gets old. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to start with today is um, three-part yogic breath. In Sanskrit, it's Durga Pranayam. And this breath, if you can imagine, maybe you guys are all familiar with this because I've taught you guys all before. You imagine breaking your breathing system up into three parts. So here's part one, here's the belly and the chest and the throat. And we're kind of trying our best to evenly breathe into each space. So as we inhale, it goes into the belly first. It's like you're a water bottle. Inhale, fill up into the belly, then the chest, then the throat, a little hold, and then exhaling from the throat, from the chest, and from the belly. So I, I, I kind of had a hard time with this when this was like the hardest pranayama for me to get down with. And I think that what helps me is that when I get to the top, for example, once I'm like inhaling, 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 Anything left, any capacity that I have left, I slurp it all up at that point. Because if I'm not completely full, it it kind of it kind of makes me feel um, like disjointed or something. So maybe you'll feel. And then and then on the on the on the exhale as well. When I'm exhaling from here, from here, and from here, make sure you're releasing all the rest of your air out when you're exhaling from the belly. Okay, maybe this will make more sense as we go in. Okay, so we're gonna do. Uh, seven rounds of Durga Pranayama and I'll cue you through the first three and then the last four you're going to you're going to go off on your own okay so you can do this laying down this is a fine breath to do laying down um, but I'll ask you to stay seated because we're going to we're going to do in a little, a little after so okay we're experimenting with the body let's go <laughs> sitting up nice and tall this one is just a test run let's see inhale into the belly now into the chest, now into the throat, inhale the, all the rest of the air you need and hold. Now exhale from the throat, 
from the chest and from the belly, exhale everything, everything out until full collapse. You now inhale into the belly, the chest, the throat, exhale from the throat, from the chest, from the belly. Inhale from the to the belly all the way down, water bottle, the chest, and the throat. Exhaling from the throat, from the chest, from the belly. Four more rounds on your own. Play with this. Get to know yourself. Inhaling deeply into the belly. Make it nice and big, just like belly breath. If it doesn't feel perfect, it doesn't matter. You're just kind of getting used to this, trying it out, seeing what happens. Keep going. When you finish your rounds, you come into subtle breathing and you just observe. Taking a look at the system, in the body, where the mind's at. Just a little scan with no judgment, a zero judgment scan. <laughs> okay, if you're still breathing, joining us in uh, subtle breath. We're going to move from here into Analoma Vilom, but we're going to use the Adi Shakti Kriya method here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use three different speeds of Analoma Vilom. And please note that you don't have to do this. This is not an activating breath. This is still calming. So all the breaths that we're using today are going to keep us in our lunar phase. So um, in, in all the other practices that we've done so far, we began with a couple of bhakti. We use bastrika. We use these activating breaths to bring us, you know, activation, to activate the system, bring in fresh prana. And then at the end, we've come into this lunar phase where we're cooling the body, bringing us into the parasympathetic nervous system to relax us. Today, we're just staying there. We're just staying in this parasympathetic state so that we're going to stay really nice and, and relaxed. Okay, so Analoma Vilom is the one where you use this mudra. Okay, so um, getting the hand ready. Uh, left hand can be placed on your leg. So right hand is in pranayama mudra. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a very short round first of a very quick, quick analoma of alone. So it's going to be like this. And you're going to have a little bit of snot. So snot warning again. <laughs> um, and we're just going to do this for like less than a minute. So for those of you who maybe feel uh, a little need a little more in direction, that thumb is going to plug the, the right nostril. You're going to inhale through the left, plug the left, exhale through the right, inhale through the right, plug the right, exhale through the left. Okay. So we're going to do that pretty fast for about a minute and then we'll relax. We'll do the, a medium speed and then a really slow speed. Okay. Prepare yourself. Left hand down, right hand up. Take a deep inhale, full exhale. Plug the right nose and begin quickly. Two more rounds. We're going to end on the left side. And when you're done, exhale everything, everything out and sit still. Let the hand drop to the leg. I feel a little bit of stars. It can be cool. <laughs> See what comes. This is the space where the magic comes, where you give the systems time to work. Okay, we'll get started in round two. In round two, 
We're going to use a one-to-one -one ratio of inhale and exhale. And I know some of you have your, some of you are experienced and you have this practice. So you can use your own ratio that you want. I'm going to inhale for four, exhale for four. If there's something that serves you better, if you want to do six, if you want to do eight, that's fine. Go ahead. Um, <clears throat> but I'll guide four count, four count, inhale, four count, exhale. Okay. So left hand comes down, right hand comes up. Plug the right nostril and we're inhaling for two, three, four, plug the left, exhale through the right, two, three, four, inhale through the right, two, three, four, plug the right, exhale through the left, two, three, four, inhale through the right, two, sorry, left, three, four, exhale through the left, two, three, <laughs> screw it all up, inhale through the right, two, three, four, and exhale through the left, two, three, four, keep going on your own. Keep going. Tying the mind to the practice. Giving it something to do. And the next time you breathe out your left nostril, you can bring the hand down and just sit in subtle breathing. And make a little observation of how this moment feels different than finishing the faster paced edition. Just taking a look, getting curious about what's happening inside of us. Digging up what's interesting, excavating, being little archeologists. And we'll prepare for the slowest round now. And so we're gonna play with ratios again. This time we're gonna play with a one to two ratio. So I'll count you through the first three rounds, um, maybe two, we'll do, I'll count two rounds and then I'll let you set you off on your own. So we're gonna inhale for four, exhale for eight, okay? And this um, tool is available to you anytime. If you make your exhales longer than your inhales, you will relax the system because in a state of fight or flight, you can't have those nice long recovery exhales, okay? So the system automatically understands that you're safe. It's a beautiful, beautiful way to move yourself if you're feeling anxious. It's a great tool, okay? So last round of Inaloma of Alone, left hand comes down, right hand comes up. Plug the right nostril. Inhale into the left for two, three, four, plug the left, exhale through the right for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale through the right, two, three, four, close the right, exhale through the left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale through the left, two, three, four, plug the left, exhale through the right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, inhale through the right, two, three, four, close the right, exhale through the left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, keep going. And maybe now that I'm not counting, you wanna play with the ratio. Maybe you wanna inhale for three, exhale for six, whatever feels good in your body. It's your practice.
And the next time that you exhale through the left nostril, don't rush, complete your breath. You can release and come into subtle breathing. And the hands down to the knees, tall, my tall spine. This is a beautiful time for messages to come through from our angels, from our ancestors, from our higher self, from our inner child. And giving the space for listening. If you never listen, you never hear. Our final practice for today is going to be Brahmari breath, bumblebee. <laughs> and <laughs> speaking of inner children, because it makes my inner child so happy. So we're going to, the, the Brahmari sound is sort of the end of the ohm. So it's that on the exhale, inhale is silent. Exhale is mm, Okay, and this is going to put us into this beautiful relaxed state, the sound it's of nature, whether it's the ocean, whether it's cicadas, that tunes our frequency, it raises our frequency. And so this breath allows us to do that on our own with our own body. It's so powerful. And this humming sound just kind of washes over our body and relaxes us. So this is where I'll offer you that if you want to lie down, you can. So we'll move right from Brahmari into, um, uh, into silence. And so if it serves you, whatever serves you best, you know, always being honest with yourself, whether you need discipline or whether you need softness, because it's always a balance of these two things. Okay. So finding the position that serves you best. We're going to do seven rounds and then we'll in automatically go into silence for three minutes, four minutes. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Okay, take a deep inhale and a full exhale. Inhale, fill up. Mm. Keep going. Mouth is closed. Tongue is sort of in the middle of the mouth. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. Release the breath, last one. Slip into silence. Remember that you have that inner point of focus you can always come back to, to focus the eyes behind closed lids towards the third eye. You can come back to the breath. And just a reminder about grounding in and manifesting, sending vibrations to all of your desires and dreams. Breathe life into those.
Coming back to the breath, if the mind is wandering. Starting to welcome yourself back into your body. So you can wiggle toes, fingers, roll ankles or wrists or neck softly, lovingly. And if you'd like to stay in meditation, please do. And if you got to go, you can close with me with an ohm here. And home in three shantis. Taking your time if you're laying down and you want to sit up. Giving yourself space, sitting with the heart for a moment. And gratitude for your big, beautiful heart. Hands come together. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, fill up. Oh. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Namaste. Bowing to all y'all and the teachers that are inside of you and the teachers that came before us and the moon being a teacher. So it's a good, good day to, 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 to feel the cosmos. <laughs> it's a good day to journal about what it is you want to bring to creation and to ask for the wisdom to ground it in and figure out the systems that are required to really make it happen. So I'm sending you all so much love. Love you. And go on with your bad sales. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>